welcome back. Welcome back to the December edition of Wake Up America, Wake Up. On this day, December 7th of 2021, I got this idea that I was going to start hosting a podcast to talk about political accountability, social issues, and the news. And what do you know? A year has gone by. This edition of the uh, Wake Up America, Wake Up podcast, I will be talking about the child trafficking that is a result of this invasion that's happening on our southern border. All right, so let's talk about human trafficking. Okay, now human trafficking has been happening for quite a bit of time. What you may not be aware of, and what I'm finding out that a lot of politicians are aware of, is the human trafficking that's taking place at our southern border. It turns out that there are a lot of adult males and females that are not parents, custodial parents of children that are being brought across the border and are being sold into slavery, into sex trafficking rings in the United States. And it has been publicly disclosed. And I'd like to know what we're going to do about it. So here we are. You know, the Biden administration with this open border policy allowing fentanyl to come through our borders. Allowing terrorists that have been caught crossing our borders. And what I've always known is human traffickers bringing in young children to be sex slaves, to be sold into bondage. This is something that you would think was happening in, you know, during the Roman era, and it's happening now. We're supposed to be a modern society, and this is being allowed to happen? And we're allowing it to happen. You know how? by not standing up to our government, by not standing up and saying, hey, this border crisis is just more than an invasion. There are drugs coming in, there are terrorists coming in, there are young children that are coming into this country and being sold into slavery. I think this nonsense once and for all has to stop. It's not all right that young children are being sold into slavery, into sex slavery, into the sex market, are being human trafficked in this country. I mean, what, what have we become as a society that we allow this and we turn a blind eye? So what are we saying? That the people south of the, the United States are non-human? That they don't deserve that type of protection? This is why we have a vetting process, right? This is why we have rules to ensure that people that are coming in are being vetted. That we know that a child belongs to this individual that's coming across the border. But we are not even doing that. There should be some criminal prosecution for the smugglers and the cartels who bring the kids here. You know, cartels make terrible babysitters. And that's exactly what they're tasked to do when they bring a kid here without any parent or guardian to take care of them. Then the cartels are in, in charge. And we know that children suffer abuses, sexual abuses and physical abuses along the way when they're just put in the hands of these terrible bad actors. That is why... You know, people like Mayorkas are being asked to resign because he is well aware of what's happening on the southern border. How can you be in charge? 
How can you be in charge and not know what's happening? You don't read the reports? Uh, the border is closed. The border is secure. I worked in managerial positions where I was made aware of everything that pertained to my department, to the operations within my department. There was nothing that I was not aware of. So don't tell me that there is no way that you don't know what's going on. It's not that you don't know what's going on. It's that you don't care or that you're turning a blind eye, that you're breaking the law. Maybe that's why the incoming Senate wants you to either resign or face the consequences of an investigation, which, of course, you know, I don't think anything will happen because he will be protected. Most of these politicians that are in office, most of these, most of the leadership that hold government positions are protected. We all know this. We should be demanding as a society, as a country, as citizens of the United States, of the punishment and removal of corrupt politicians, of corrupt leadership in the FBI and the Department of Justice, of the resignation or detainment and imprisonment of these people that have gone against the Constitution, these people that have disregard for human life by allowing human trafficking of young children into this country, you are liable. And there is no other way of putting this If you or I, as a regular person, can be charged with sex offenses, be designated as sexual predators or sexual offenders, then why can't politicians and those people involved in human trafficking, why can't they face justice? Do the laws only apply to the citizens of the United States and not the politicians and not the leadership of these federal agencies that are allowing these things to transpire on our border, in our country. I don't know what I would do if my child was taken to another country and exploited sexually human trafficked in another country. I don't know what I'd do. But I wouldn't be sitting on my ass and not doing nothing. You know, the way I was brought up and the communities that I lived in, we looked out for each other. We looked out for each other's children. If I did something wrong, I could expect a parent to communicate with my parent and say, hey, your son was up to no good. We need to be looking out for one another, for, ch for children especially. Children are innocent. I mean, it's bad enough that we live in a society in which we are pushing this transgender movement, this movement that is also asking for the mutilation of children, for the indoctrination of children, for the sexualization of children. So it's of no surprise when I hear that human trafficking has been taking place at our southern border. I've always known. Because when you let the doors open, when you have an open border policy, what do you expect? It, it's not always about, you know, those people that have a legitimate reason for leaving their country, for taking their family. But you have other people that have exploited that open border policy 
not only to bring drugs, but to bring young children, young women especially, so they can be on the streets. And belong to a sexual ring. There's no doubt in my mind. That this perversion. That is taking place. That can be stopped by our government. If we the people demand it. If we the people shed light. On the people that are involved in it. Whether our local government. Our federal government, we need to call out these people that have known and done nothing about it. Like Mallorcas. So don't sit there and lie publicly that you've never known that human trafficking has been taking place. You're a liar. And resignation shouldn't even be an option. You should be imprisoned as an accomplice to human trafficking that's taking place. And the Biden administration should also have people imprisoned. It should go up as far up the chain as possible. As an American citizen, no, as a human being, we are obligated to protect young children. You know, I, I just can't talk about this no more. We need to do something about it. Wake up, America. Wake up.